<clears throat> all right welcome back everybody this is the game master and this will be let's see 14 15 part 16 of our sea of stars let's play through okay Uh, last one was pretty rough. We had uh, we did a lot of backtracking to uh, try to get treasures that we'd missed uh, with our new abilities, and we had the key to the Sultus Shrine, and we couldn't figure out the puzzle to Sultus Shrine. So, so that that was a lot of. A lot of action, but we we got the second Sultra Shrine. We did figure out the the puzzle, so I didn't get much, but figured it out. Okay, so now we're onward to the uh, not sure what the name of the next dungeon is. Sorry about my coffin. Looks like it's down to the southeast. Looks like we got the jungle path to go through. Watch your island. The hidden city of the Dockery should be somewhere beyond this jungle. We got the corral hammer. Let's do this. a possibly a boss monster or something we find sail or the chest yeah he doesn't think he's doing too much damage chest. Uh, looks like that is an increase in my armor. Yeah, pretty good increase. We 
have to go over here. It's like a current, so we can't actually go up there. But it looks like maybe not. I'm not sure. something here. This. this is obviously something, but it's standing on it doesn't do anything. Can't win it. Alright, don't know what it's for. I have to wait on that one. I tried jumping off there, but it's got a current, so the current's going to lock, knock us back. Oh, uh, can't get across there. Oh, wait a minute. Current's going to knock us back, but... Uh, yeah. We don't go this far. Okay. Now we got a switch. Bridges up there. Okay. Uh, what is this? Okay, we 
got a mirror. Just came out of nowhere. Okay, I see. thing but I'm not it's not giving me the option to like do it there's this thing you gotta stand on and the thing you gotta stand on is not sure where it is stand on. Suck this is part of the Take us back to the front part. Apparently we can't. Okay, so 
anything else that we Campfire, okay, never mind that. There's some monsters over here. Let's knock these monsters to see. Y'all just missed this area. a sandwich. Okay.
and we just have to rotate those things until they're rotated correctly. tighten the other ones. shining here. Which is nowhere close to this one. Can't rotate that one. Can't uh, hook it. We have to like rotate this light, but I'm not sure how to do it. Baseline, except for that one.
Well, let's have to try all combinations, I suppose. Uh, let's start off with this one here. This one here, and we'll try all the combinations. Nothing works. I right, will move this one here. Try all the combinations. Nothing works. Okay, move this one here. Wait a minute, it went the wrong way. Okay, I tried all the combinations. Let's move. This one. This is gonna take a while. I think I'm going to try looking this one up. Let's 
see here. We're in the jungle. Okay, here we go. Solve this day and night puzzle and see if it starts the brain scratcher. Tell me, especially since you come upon it on your first walk through the area. Like me, you probably spent way too long trying to solve it to no avail. Like the Salt of Shrine puzzles, it has multiple steps for you to work through, but don't worry, we have all the information you'll need to complete it successfully. Most important step to getting this puzzle completed is to make sure you have the Saltus amulet. Okay. Okay, I have that. Amulet will allow you to control sun and moon without. Oh, I do not have that. Where do I get the Saltus amulet? need to progress further through the Watcher Island if you don't have it yet and then backtrack to the jungle path at a later time. Okay, how do we get the Sultus Amulet? That's what we're missing. Let's leave that one up. Amulet will aid to control sun and moon without standing on Saltus Prism, no matter if you choose that Bowery. Okay. Where to find the amulet? Uh, okay. It says it's story related to continue to play the game. Well, Get it. I've already like played the game up to this point. Let me make sure that I don't have it. Do not have it, but I played up the story all the way up to this point, and this is where I need it. Let's conch location. Saltus Amulet Secret. Okay. 
So that's what's causing this, that's what's making us where we can't do this puzzle. We don't have the Saltus Amulet, and it's saying that it's story related, but we played the story up to this point, so I don't know where we missed it at. Unless it's that, unless you get it for that puzzle that, that we couldn't do. Let's try Sea of Stars, Saltus, Temples. Okay. Got there, we got there. Okay, first thing you need to do is grab one or two available stone blocks and move it so that it is two blocks away from the blue block. Okay. You can do this by moving the first stone block to the upper right corner or the second stone block to the lower right corner and then you can quickly make the blue block disappear by pushing it from the right. First thing you need to do is grab one or two available stone blocks and it so there's two blocks away from the blue block. You can do this by moving the first stone block to the upper right corner and the second stone block to the lower right corner. Then you can quickly make the blue block disappear by pushing it from the right. And in a fraction of a second, push the stone block in the lower right corner up so that it would collide with the stone block in the upper right corner. If you move the blue block after that, the blue block will move two blocks and then leave a glowing trail that is moving to the correct path. Second step is to move the block in the upper right corner to the left and down. Then move the block next to the blue block to the left and down as well. The way, that way, this way when you push the blue block it will collide with the same block hit forward just in the direction. I don't understand this. You gotta get the blue block up there. Okay, it says the chest in this shrine contains the soul ring, one of the most powerful combo magic spells. Okay, it's not doesn't have the salt assignment, so we don't need to do that. I don't understand where to get the stuff to Samuel. Maybe we go back and talk to...
Man, it's someone else's YouTube. We don't want to do that. Mm. Oh, Huh. Hey, it's talking to me like like it's a person. I'm sorry to hear that you're having trouble tying the salt amulet. Okay. Well, I don't. It literally tells me that I'm supposed to go to this area by the uh, by the save game. When I hit the save game, it says I'm supposed to go to this area. can't do this puzzle yet so we'll have to have to backtrack and I'm glad I looked that up and instead of spending two hours trying to figure out like how to do that when there's no way to do it It says Coral Hammer. Okay, the only thing I know to do is go back to our respective towns and talk to people. Give that a shot, and then if that doesn't work, I don't know. Wait a minute, there's something here. Try that top part up there, but we probably won't be able to do it. Uh, let's no, let's go back to back to uh, our town here.
thinking we talk to that guy and maybe he'll give us a minute. new building plans. We have not. Okay. There he is. Okay. I thought I talked to him. over all these guys. I don't know what the crib was for. I don't know where it could be. Okay, it's not in that town. Obviously a lot more uh, action to do here, but I can't, I'm stuck. talk to everybody in these towns I don't know what story wise that we can do maybe we can go back to Evermist man I don't want to go back there Let's try 
let's try listening to that story of that's one thing we didn't do is we didn't listen to the story story yes uh, three sisters we didn't get that it's said that whenever twins are born on a solstice fate itself flips a coin their innate magic would either be incredibly heightened or corrupted into something that ought to be contained for the greater good for generations many solstice warrior twins have accomplished great deeds but despite their immense potential could never ascend into guardian gods her teacher requires one of the winter and one of the summer, but kindred souls are not meant to part for eternity. On a particularly warm summer solstice, fate's coins landed on its edge and triplets were born. As the great angles instincts indicated, it soon became apparent that morality had split itself in three, as if to see their innate magic expressed in distinct flavors. Because their actions will inevitably drive them far away from one another, they were given annoying similar names. Maya, Mara, Wara, and Romer. I guess that's it. Mara was spawned to cry with cradle where she became a formal Sultus warrior and Zenith Academy's headmistress. Ever the start protector, Mara gave her life with the leading charge against the dweller of strife. Mara was the neutral one, better known as the crown of Song Room Mars. Living a secluded life, she is observer of a distinct future, offering cryptic insights on key events and looming threats that may or may not transpire. By age five, she had correctly predicted that the Flesh Master would leave if the Dweller of Strife were defeated at the cost of Mariah's life. Despite her immense power, she remains impartial in all conflicts. Meanwhile, Romero devoted her ever waking moment to studying what could be understood of the Flesh Master's ways and developing forbidden arts of her own. Through her understanding of blood magic, she became the first necromancer and devised a way to trap souls within objects. One notable invention of hers is candles that never burn out, noticeably by Romero's signature green fire. Through their extreme commitment to different paths, three sisters have prompted countless musings on the choices of one makes in life. They live bravely and selflessly like Mariah and embrace an endless early death while fighting for a worthy cause. Or to live quite peaceful and I bet solitary life with Mariah for doing ambition for the sake of safety, but never discovering one's true self. Or perhaps to indulge oneself like Mariah with utter confidence in her ability to overcome any retribution she might face as a result of her corruption. Could the three sisters truly be a trick of fate, or the spiteful game of God's unknown? Or is it simply that, in search for meaning, we sometimes mistake pure happenstance for prophecy? It's probably for the best that we should never know. The end. Okay, so that accomplished nothing. Uh, okay, I'm at an impasse. I'm going to save up. And call it for this episode because I can't figure out where to go, what to do. Uh, it looks like we have completed something of the story, but we've completed everything of the story we can up to now. So I don't know wh where we missed the amulet at. I don't know. I have to try to like Google it more. Let's see if I can find out. And I guess that'll be the next episode when I find out and we get to move forward. Alright, so, and disappointing, but we'll see you guys later, hopefully.